So what do we make of this reshuffle, apart from it's one set of public school people replacing another going in and out of Downing Street smiling and frowning? Well, I think there are some interesting things about this. One is, all three big things the government tried to do, health, education and welfare, the architects of them, which was Lansley on health, Gove on education and Ian Duncan Smith on welfare, they are either gone, in the case of Lansley and Gove, or with Ian Duncan Smith, he's kind of got a consolation prize of having to stick with it as it all melts down because the universal credit is just not working. Now, the other big thing that's happened in this reshuffle is a change in the centre of gravity of like political language. I think we're going to see. And the best way of putting it is to think of, you know, Gove was kind of a big cheese at the Times, and Danny Finkelstein, his mate, is a big cheese at the Times, or was. And what all these new women coming into the cabinet will do is make it feel actually more like, I don't think this is too cruel either, female, the, the Daily Mail's women's section. And that is intentional. So they start speaking not just to women, but in a kind of more populist, demotic way. Esther McVeigh's dad ran a construction company. In fact, he ran a construction company that got served with prohibition notices. Um, so the message is going to be, we're ordinary. But they're going to have a problem getting that message across, I think, because at the end of the day, whatever the policies of governments are and however much they try and do things to Whitehall or whatever, the disconnect between ordinary people's lives and the actual lives of politicians has become the substance of political theatre. And when a lot of people watch this reshuffle on TV, the the the, the surtext, the, the subtext of everything will be how different that world is to the world of picking your kid up from school tonight or getting down to a house viewing and finding that the house you wanted is gone. It's, it's kind of the mismatch thing I think is always accentuated for me on these great days of political drama.